Okay, now that I think I've got this figured out. I'm such a liar and such a pussy that I'm putting my face to all my lies about what's going on with my husband's kids. In the last two years, we've continuously been fighting for custody of these kids. Their mother, their grandmother, their aunt, their uncle are all freaking drug addicts. They've all got drug charges in their history. However, we live in PA and they live in New York. And Kent County in New York seems to ignore and not want to investigate or look into any of the allegations of abuse or neglect or anything to do with these kids. In that time, these kids have come forward and admitted that they are scared to death to be at their mother's house, which is at their grandmother's house in Limestone, New York. In the meantime, we've got video documentation of these kids being scared to talk about anything to where they finally open up every time they know they do not have to go back to their mothers, including telling nine different people about how they've been sexually abused by their uncle at their mother's house. We had emergency custody for three months last year. They tricked my husband into signing custody back over. What happened? She violates everything on her court order. Yes, it's stated that the uncle cannot have any unsupervised contact with the children, but they moved him back into the house. Tell me how you don't under, how, how you're not unsupervised at some point in that time. Somebody's sleeping. At all times. They live in a three bedroom house with up to six to seven people. The house is filthy. The kids are sleeping in the mother's bedroom. And CYS has never gone in to check on where these kids are sleeping, even though for two years it has been in every court order that she is to get proper sleeping arrangements up for those kids. They're still in mom's room with mom. Who brings her boyfriend home from the bar? They're on webcam at her house. Miss, I don't drink around my kids. They tell us to prove that these people are doing drugs around the kids. Those kids can tell you what a bowl is, what a bowl looks like, what you smoke in it, and what it smells like. But it's okay because they have to, they have to go in the living room with mommy and nanny smoke it in the kitchen. And they'll say it's so proud. I mean, bless their hearts, they're five and seven years old. Today. After kidnapping these kids a week ago, and I admit it, I did. Finding out that their uncle was living with them again, they were not going back. I did. I kidnapped them. I hit them, and not even their father knew where they were. But because that happened in PA, now PA is allowed to be involved. PA is allowed to start an investigation. PA is disgusted at everything that Cataraugus County and Judge Heinlein and the law guardian there and Judge Neno have all ignored. All this evidence against her, a binder, this thick of abuse and neglect on these kids, and not none of it has ever been reported in court. It all gets dismissed, including a psychologist report that says they are being molested, it is at the mother's, and that he recommends nothing but supervised visitation for the mother. They tricked my husband into giving over his emergency custody, guaranteeing him if she violated one of the five orders that were given to her back in October, he would ne she would never be able to fight for the kids again, and we would have automatic custody. We get custody now through PA, who said, keep them in PA side, enroll them into school, get them back to the doctors. Their mother showed up at the school today and took those kids. They are now back at the mother's and the grandmother's house with their sexual abuser. Nobody has even spoke to the suspect. How is that an investigation? How do you investigate them? You've never even looked into it. Never followed up on it. I found out from a few sources that I have in the systems over here that there was five complaints the week he moved back in, which would have been two weeks ago, from five different people, not including my husband, me, or any of our close friends. No one ever went to check on those kids and see if any of it was true. To make matters worse, we have court Thursday morning for custody. She wants the kids on the stand. The kids don't talk when she tells them not to talk. They're scared to death of them. 
So, what do we do? I'm making a video. I'm putting a face to my lies. Because this is how scared I am. You want a nice try me for trying to get your stoned ass pulled over? I'm not even finished yet. I'm just starting. As far as the rest of the stuff going on with these kids. My stepdaughter at five years old had to go have an STD test run. We're still waiting on the results because now her problem is not a yeast infection. And for a five-year-old, I don't care what story you come up with, try to fucking explain that. I would love to hear whatever excuse you have for why your daughter went five months with this discharge that we begged you to take her to the doctor for because we're not allowed to take her to the ER unless it's an actual emergency. Per court order, you're responsible. Why weren't your kids at the doctor? I had four consecutive dentist appointments to fix the problem with my stepson's severely bad teeth. He needs four of them pulled. Four consecutive appointments. She got them back in October. I text her, and they're on my phone. The exact date, times, and a picture of the card that gave the doctor the address and the phone number. Never called to cancel, never called to reschedule. Just missed all his appointments. It's been six months, and he's now got an abscess tooth that's killing him. I got his, doctor, his dentist appointment back in the dentist office he's been rejected from, but not until the 31st. Is mother going to take him? No. She hasn't taken him in six months. And he had appointments. She didn't even have to do a damn thing except take him there. I know there's so much I'm forgetting. So much. Oh. Mom's party had it. Court ordered not to do any drugs or drinking 12 hours prior to getting her kids if you want to throw out this court order, sweetheart. 12 hours prior to getting the kids. CYS has never once done a drug test on anyone in that household to say whether any of them are on any drugs before those kids come back or after those kids come back. They've never done a drug test. We've talked to Steve Wilkos. His team more than once. They spent from last, let's say, I think it was September, right through until January, the end of January, trying to contact Brittany, who has by probably changed her phone number three times in that amount of time or conveniently broke her phone because she refused a drug test and a lie detector test on her and her brother to prove that they are not hurting this kid. These kids, I don't care who you are. Everyone in that house knows why we keep taking these kids. Everyone in that house is guilty of letting these kids be harmed. And as far as I'm concerned, he ain't the only pedophile. It's a house pedophile. Tell me any different when you're allowing it to happen. You move him back in knowing what was going on. He lost his other kid 10 years ago for the same thing. He got away with it then. It's not that Cat County has the lowest amount of pedophiles. It's the fact that Cat County has the lowest tolerance for sending anyone through court because, God forbid, they would have to do some investigation. I'm not scared, sweetheart. I put my face to my lies. I want to see you do anything better. Let's see what these judges have to say in court Thursday when the whole freaking world knows that they have not investigated the sexual abuse of a five and a seven year old. I'm sorry, he just turned seven. This is actually, they were four and six at the time. And it still hasn't been investigated. Nobody is following up. Nobody is following through and nobody is checking up on him. You keep telling us to prove it and then we prove it. That little girl should not have to tell nine different people what has happened to her for none of it to ever be presented in the court. I want to see one person that would tell me otherwise.